the existence and sustenance of the web of life, having diverse flora and fauna as we see today, is intertwined and dependent on various factors which affect Earth and its atmosphere. National Atmospheric Research Laboratory, situated in southern India, is devoted to pure and applied atmospheric research and is helping us to gain knowledge and developing deeper understanding of the atmosphere, which is essential for our survival. In 1992, what began as the mesosphere, stratosphere, troposphere radar facility, popularly called MST, near the temple town of Tirupati, has today emerged as much more than a mere weather prediction hub. It studies, analyzes, and disseminates information about our atmosphere, the complex cover around the Earth, without which there will be no life. We are involved in studying the Earth's atmosphere from starting from ground to almost up to 600 kilometers. It started in 1992 with this MST radar. So now we have almost about two dozen type of instruments running here in this place. And we, we study the various processes like physical and chemical processes taking place at uh, different places. NARL operates a large number of advanced instruments, devices and techniques, many of which are indigenously developed to study the atmosphere. For instance, the MST radar, which is used for studying the three layers of the atmosphere. The atmospheric wind profiles obtained by the MST radar are used for two important purposes. Scientific applications such as weather prediction, cyclone generated waves, moisture exchange between the troposphere and stratosphere. NARL also provides customized high spatial resolution weather forecast data to SDSC SHAR for ISRO's rocket launches. Other NARL products such as data from the indigenously developed lower atmospheric wind profiler, SODAR, GPS balloon sonde, rain gauges, disdrometers, microwave radiometers, etc augment the MST radar observations to a large extent. Using these instruments, NARL extensively studies the complex interaction of solar energy with Earth from deep below the soil surface to the far reaches of the atmosphere. The Brewer spectrometer is used to study the stratosphere which spans roughly 17 to 50 kilometers from the Earth's surface. This study is crucial because stratosphere contains the ozone layer which protects Earth from the sun's harmful UV radiation. Meteorological balloons fitted with ozone sensors are used for this purpose. The laboratory is also developing a differential absorption lidar or dial to study the vertical distribution of ozone in the stratosphere. The atmospheric layer spanning 50 to 85 kilometers from the Earth's surface is called the mesosphere. This atmospheric layer couples the lower atmosphere with the upper ionosphere and also protects the planet from stray cosmic elements. To study mesosphere, NARL operates an instrument known as the railing lidar. At the heart of the device is a powerful laser, the light from which is sent to the sky as pulses. An equally powerful telescope and detector system examine the backscattered radiation to obtain the temperature profile of the mesosphere and its wave dynamics. Regular monitoring of the ionosphere, which spans 85 to 500 kilometers is also of utmost importance because it affects radio wave propagation. NARL gives a special emphasis to study this layer by making use of instruments like the high frequency radar, a network of GPS and GNSS receivers, air glow imagers and photometers. 
the scientists at NARL are also involved with air quality modeling and monitoring decadal climate change, especially over the Indian subcontinent. NARL is also home to a supercomputer which processes and analyzes atmospheric data and computes weather models. The data center at NARL acts as a repository for storing and disseminating information to various scientific users spread across India. Currently, the laboratory holds about 250 TB of data, which is growing continuously over the years. The vibrant faculty of NARL regularly publishes scientific findings in leading national and international journals and guides talented students for doctoral studies. During the last 25 years of its existence, the laboratory has published over 550 research publications in peer-reviewed journals. It has produced more than 50 PhD scholars and mentored hundreds of MTech theses. NARL Research Wing is full of bright young men and women who continue the task of atmospheric research and its practical applications. After doing my masters, I thought I have to do the PhD. So I have heard about NARL. It's a very good reputed laboratory in India. And the facilities are also very excellent. NARL is equipped with the high performance computing system. And I have joined for my PhD in the subject Tropical Cyclogenesis under the guidance of Dr. Amit P. Kesakar. Now I'm completing my PhD. And NARL has provided all the facilities for the students here accommodation, travel, and food, everything was fine here. I completed my post-graduation degree in chemistry from the Pondicherry Central University. I joined NRL as a DST INSPE research fellow under the supervision of Dr. Aris Gadhvi and Dr. Chaitanya D. Jain. As part of my PhD study, I am working on the measurement of volatile organic compounds in the rural atmosphere under the tropical conditions. I have done my master's in atmospheric science from Calcutta University and when I searched online which are the most uh, reputed uh, institutes doing PhD in atmospheric science or meteorology, I have found NARL is one of the top. My subject is middle atmospheric dynamics, it is fully related to dynamics and chemistry and facility means I hear in NARL uh, so many instruments are there like radar, lidar and those data are very much uh, user friendly and we are able to access the data very easily and it is also advantage of being an NARL student and the most precious thing in NARL we feel the fam fr friendly family approach from everyone. NARL campus includes an impressive green building which also houses a beautiful library and a learning area which offers a relaxed atmosphere for study and research. The research scholars stay in a pleasant hostel which is well designed to meet their needs. Battery operated vehicles run inside the campus which help in reducing the carbon footprint. There is also a cafeteria for staff and students. A large and beautiful conference hall of NARL is regularly used for lectures, presentations and meetings. It is an ideal place for faculty-student interaction and learning. We have a scientific advisory committee consisting of sci eminent scientists from all over India and they give us the direction what we should be uh, doing in the coming years. Not only that, this are consolidated and say, put into our governing council. Governing council is chaired by uh, secretary, that is chairman Isro, and according to his uh, suggestions, the scientific programs are oriented towards the, uh, the more challenging one and how we should go forward and all. NARL also has active collaborations with several leading universities in India and abroad, like IIT Madras, IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT Kharagpur, Kyoto University, Japan, Karlsruhe Institute, Germany, Colorado University, USA, and with space agencies like CNES France and NASA Langley Research Center.
earlier it was started as nmrf that is national mst radar facility so that mandate still we are holding in that is to give facility to other scientists not only from india and also from abroad to come here and use our facility so i can use this opportunity to invite uh, scientists to come over here make use of our facilities and the varieties of modeling and our young scientists are always willing to help you